So I want to thank everybody for joining us today for our announcement for the University of Evansville men's and women's basketball programs. Uh, we're going to start off with the women's basketball staff uh, with head coach Matt Ruffing and his additions before uh, men's basketball with Todd Licklider and his new additions uh, jump on at about two o'clock. Um, for the media, if you wouldn't mind kind of muting yourself for right now, and whenever you have a question, uh, if you want to just uh, signal us via chat, and we will call on you uh, when it's a good time, when we after we get everything rolling. Um, we're going to have a recorded copy of the of media availability uh, shortly after we're done today, and transcribed quotes will also be sent. So that's kind of everything we have to start off, and I'm going to introduce our Assistant Director of Media Relations, Michael Robertson, who is the women's basketball contact. Thanks, Bob. Uh, thank you all for joining us here today uh, for this media availability. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll get this started pretty quickly. Um, I'm going to start by handing this over to the head coach of the University of Evansville women's basketball team, Matt Ruffing, and uh, just get his initial thoughts uh, on today's hirings. Well, first off, I want to thank everyone that is on here today. Um, obviously, wish this could be done in person and you know, circumstances were different, but it is an exciting day for the women's basketball program at U of E. Um, you know, this has been a long process. One, many of ap applicants uh, was excited about the pool that, that entered. I was a little worried with COVID and, and what that would, would mean for the pool. But, uh, you know, my goal to start this was to surround our players and staff with two great people that will take pride in not only molding, you know, our student athletes on and off the floor, but living up to the standards of U of E and the Missouri Valley Conference. And just so happy that Tay and Tyra decided uh, to, to join us and come on board. And uh, I mean, I know they're ready to work. You know, unfortunately we're not in the office right now uh, with, with all the COVID stuff going on, but uh, you know, I'm excited for our players to get to know them, to get to be around them, you know, both, had great careers at the BCS level, uh, which I think speaks for itself. And, you know, one of the big pushes in the women's game is, is to hire um, young former players. And, and I think that's very pivotal, especially with, uh, you know, the team that, that we have to surround them with great role models and people that have been in their shoes and done it at the highest of levels. And I think these two are going to be a very big part of our future to come. Thanks, Matt. Uh, the first of today's hires uh, I would like to introduce to you is Tanea Beauclair, who joins the Aces after two seasons on the coaching staff at the University of Utah. Uh, prior to that, Tanea was a standout player for the Utes women's basketball team for four seasons. Uh, and just to start things off, similar to how we did with Matt, I'll just let Tanea uh, say a couple of words here about today's hiring. Hi. Um, thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to get started. I've kind of been in contact with Coach Ruffing and the staff for a while now, and I'm just really super stoked to um, just get started, to meet the girls, um, to get in the offices, get on campus, and have the chance to really just get my career started and get to learn and more, learn more and grow and just like work with great people. We'll now open it up for questions for Tanea. I guess I'll go. Um, Tanea, this is kind of a new position. Uh, what do you hope to add to just the women's staff here? Uh, yeah, um, I think just coming in and being super organized and being able to kind of take some of those like administrative duties and let the coaches do their thing as far as like recruiting and getting focused and prep for game days and being able to like take over travel and making sure that all of the like little details are handled and that they can kind of just like lock in on what they need to do like once the game starts. Uh, yeah. Tanea, I have a question. Um, you were director of player personnel uh, last year at Utah. How do you think that job prepared you and, and kind of motivated you to move on um, and advance your career here at Evansville? Um, I think just having the opportunity to be involved with the staff and to really build relationships with players, I think is huge. And as a director of ops, um, I think I have a unique opportunity because I don't necessarily coach them on the court, um, but I can still like establish those relationships and get to know them and 
get to know what's going on in their lives. And um, at the University of Utah as the director of player personnel, I got to work closely with our video coordinator. And so I got to watch a lot of film. I <laughs> um, was analyzing a lot of stuff. And so bringing that perspective as well to what we're doing here. Tanea, coming from a, a, a Pac-12 big, you know, big conference, one of the best in the country. Um, what do you think you can bring to, to help elevate the Evansville program? Um, I would say, um, like, just being a recent player and kind of knowing, like, how the game has progressed in the last, like, four to six years, um, being, being able to bring that current perspective. And I think basketball is basketball. Obviously, the Pac-12 is an amazing conference to play in. And having the opportunity to play against some of the best um, players in the country um, a day every weekend um, I think teaches you a new level of like competitiveness and being able to just like get up every weekend and know that it's going to be a fight and to really communicate that perspective to the girls here and show them that hey we, maybe we lost one but what are we going to do next what are the next steps that we're taking to move forward to get better on and off the court. Uh, Tanea, every new job opportunity is kind of a leap of faith, of course, to a certain extent. So now that you're here on campus, um, your feelings, what do you like most about being here? I would say the people. Um, the coaches have been great. Um, just answering my questions, making sure that I'm feeling comfortable, helping me move furniture into my apartment, um, and just their willingness to kind of say, hey, we know you're new and just like envelop me and teach me like kind of what the culture of the program is going to be. Any further questions for Tanea? All right. Thank you, Tanea. Our uh, next hiring uh, to introduce is Tyra Buss, who joins Evansville as an assistant coach after a tremendous career at Indiana. I'll let Tyra do uh, what Tanea did and just say a few words uh, on the hiring. Yeah, um, honestly, I can't really put into words how excited and grateful I am um, for this amazing opportunity and, you know, kind of just be able to start my coaching career at such a prestigious university um, and just to have the chance to stay involved with the game that I love, um, be close to home, and then, you know, be able to help the next generation of great women's basketball players, um, you know, is just something that I'm incredible grateful for. And um, I'm excited to, you know, kind of like Tanea said, get to it campus and um, you know obviously with all this COVID stuff it's been tough um, but I'm excited to meet all the players and you know the coaching staff has been amazing and um, I'm just really excited to get to work and you know help build something special here at the University of Evansville. I'll go ahead and open it up for questions for Tyra. Tyra your, your brothers are coaches um, is this something that you kind of have always wanted to do when you finished or you know how, how did you kind of come to this decision to, to want to start coaching now? Yeah, absolutely. You know, kind of just being, you know, grown up into a family of, you know, coaches. My mom, you know, once coached track. My dad coached from baseball to basketball. And then now, obviously, both my older brothers coach um, at my high school on Mount Carmel. So um, kind of just growing up into a family of coaches. And, um, you know, obviously, I wanted to, to play for as long as I could. And then after that, I wanted to still, you know, find a way to stay involved with, with the game. And, you know, I love working, you know, with, with – players and you know being able to be a part of a such a great coaching staff I'm just really looking forward to um you know like I said getting started and it's something that you know after you know I stopped playing it's something that I really wanted to do and then you know it's just a couple years ago you were still in college playing so do you think that's going to help you kind of relate to the players you know just kind of how's that aspect going to work with you yeah absolutely I think that's going to be you know something that I can really help contribute is just kind of like you said, I just graduated a couple of years ago and you know, fresh out of the game, kind of just knowing, you know, um, what it takes to, to play at the highest level and, you know, all the hard work and, you know, not only, you know, on the court, but off it as well as, as far as academics and kind of just being that role model for, for the girls and for the players, for them to, to be able to come and talk to me with, you know, with anything they have, um, if they need advice, whether it's, you know, like I said, whether it's academically or, or basketball, athletically, but also just kind of in life, gener in life in general, just because of, you know, I know what it takes. Um, you know, it can be a very, um, you know, hard time with, you know, a lot of basketball, but also just kind of working on, you know, not only on the court, but off it as well. Tyra, you talked about um, 
having this opportunity this early uh, that what was your little personal timeline? I mean, you're two years out of school. You were, you were a broadcast from the big 10 network. I mean, uh, what were you thinking time-wise <laughs> for something like this? Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously I, I kind of, you know, even when I started the, the big 10 network gig, um, you know, I didn't know if I wanted to, to continue playing. And so that's kind of why I kind of took that time to decide. And then I got, you know, obviously I got that opportunity to do that, that I couldn't really pass up, but, you know, in the back of my mind, coaching was always something that I wanted to do. Um, it just depended on what level. And, you know, after coming out of college, I, I really decided that I wanted to start at the college level. Um, just kind of seeing, you know, what my coaching staff did at, at Indiana. And then, you know, being a part of the, the Big Ten Network, going to see all the different coaches in the, in the Big Ten and kind of seeing the different playing styles, the different coaching styles. I think that'll, you know, really help as well, um, you know, with my coaching career. <clears throat> Hey Tyra, um, my question is just, you touched on it a little bit about how much it means to be playing so close to home. Um, how much of a seamless fit did this seem like being that it is so close to home and what was the reaction of your uh, friends and family? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I'm a, I'm a big family person. That's another reason why I think, you know, the University of Evansville is going to be such a great fit for me just because of their culture. Um, you know, they're, they're big on family as well. And I think that's super, super important. Um, and so I'm really excited, you know, you know, Coach Ruffin kind of, you know, mentioned that before is they do want to, you know, that culture that they have is just, you know, family and, um, you know, togetherness. And that's something that's always been big for me. And that's why, you know, I, I chose to, to go to Indiana was because it was, you know, close to home. And that's another reason why I think, you know, being a coach here at Evansville, only about 45 minutes down the road is, uh, is going to be huge. And obviously my family and, and friends were super excited. And, um, you know, my mom and dad were, were probably the most excited about it. Any further questions for Tyra? All right, thank you, Tyra. Uh, finally, to close things out uh, for the women's basketball portion of today's media availability, uh, I'll go ahead and pass it back to uh, head coach Matt Ruffing and just allow him to, to answer a few questions anybody might have about today's hirings. Matt, how does this make your job easier? You know, going from a staff of four to a staff of five, um, just what, what's gonna change just about how you kind of operate? You know, um, you know, one of the things we do anyways, whether we have four or five people, uh, all of us roll up our sleeves and, you know, whatever needs to be done, we do it even as a head coach. You know, if I got to sweep the floor or, you know, with the stuff going on with COVID, if I got to clean the basketballs, I'll do it. But I, I think, you know, it's really big for our girls. Uh, you know, it's great to have the staff I had last year, but to add another piece to that, uh, I think will go a long way. Uh, you know, we talk to our recruits all the time about this isn't a four-year decision. It's, it's a life decision when you choose a school, uh, you know, to go play, but also get your academics at. And you've got to really be selective who you want to surround yourself with for those four years because it will play a big part in, in your future. And, and I feel like adding Tay and Tyra, I mean, it's going to make Evansville look really attractive to recruits and continue what we're, we're looking to do here. Any further questions for Coach Ruffing? All right, thanks, Matt. Uh, that concludes the women's basketball portion of today's availability, and we will be back uh, with the men's basketball portion of today's availability at 2 p.m.